Hey, what's up guys? Dan here and I'm here with a student and his name is Blair. He's a successful student that took the Amazon Freedom course and Blair, you have made 11,000 since you've started, correct? Correct. Okay, awesome. So um, I love doing these student uh, success interviews because I've been getting a lot of them recently and I try to share my student stories because I believe that every single uh, person comes from a different place and every single uh, one of my students has a different story to share. And so obviously, you know, it can motivate people and it can show people that it's actually possible to make themselves uh, or to create themselves an online business and to generate enough passive income to quit their job and to be able to uh, live their dream life. So um, welcome to the interview, Blair. I'm super happy to have you. Thank you. And uh, so, yeah, you've made 11,000 since you started. How long, how long has that been? Like, when did you start? I started uh, actually selling or putting the list online on Amazon uh, June 12th of this year. Okay, so June 12th, and today's July the 2nd, so it hasn't even been a month. So, uh, Blair, how did you start? Tell us a little bit about your story, how you found out about Amazon FBA, how you found the course, how you found my channel, all that kind of stuff. It's probably a long story, but I'll try to cut it short. Uh, when I first found out about Amazon FBA, I was, of course, strolling around YouTube. I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos and different things. And I just happened to see, I think it was uh, Tanner J. Fox uh, showing off his cars and stuff. And I just, I like cars, so I looked into it. Started watching a lot of his videos, and then I was like, well, I started seeing other people pop up that sell that sale and have courses. Uh, another one was Phil Covington. And then I saw you, Dan Boss. So then I started just kind of looking at each one of the different courses. And uh, I just, I kind of liked how you presented yourself, Dan. And uh, that's that's the one I ended up going with. And then from what I heard, the other courses were a little more expensive. So I didn't have a whole lot of money to start. So I decided to jump in with your course. And that's how I got started. Awesome, man. And that was, that was in December of 17. I was on vacation from work and uh, for a week, and I, just, I started searching and researching, and then I finally jumped in, I think, in January, bought your course. And then from then on, I did all my research up to about April. And that's when I started contacting my suppliers and everything, and I found my, my product and what I wanted to do. Actually, I, I went through like 10 products I found and I ended up going with the first one I ever found. So I thought that was pretty neat to be able to make this type of prof, uh, revenue with that, with the first product I ever found. So I really thought that was neat. So this, so right now the product that is making you this money is the first product that you found, like using the methods taught in the course? Yep. Using the methods in your course, using Jungle Scout, yep, correct. Oh wow, okay. So I would say that usually, and that's definitely not how it was for me, uh, my first successful product was definitely not the first product that I found, but um, that's awesome, man. So obviously I'm super happy. So maybe um, tell us a little bit about your, uh, you know, kind of like where you come from, your life story, where, where you're from, I assume probably okay. United States. Um, yeah, and like what led you to uh, basically uh, try to become an entrepreneur and try to start an online business? Well, I'm from South Louisiana. Uh, I live in a small town and I work in the oil and gas industry. I do electrical work in a gas plant. Wait, what to town college. is this? What's that? What town is this? Uh, Crowley, Louisiana. Oh, okay, I've been to I've been to Grant Cardone's hometown, Lake Charles, Louisiana. If you know what yeah. that is. Yeah, I drove through, but it was kind of neat because I'm like, this is Grant Cardone's hometown. Do you know Grant Cardone? No. He's a big. He's a big. I'm sure a lot of the people watching this right now know him, but he's a big uh, kind of like. Uh, influencer online as well. He doesn't do Amazon, but he does more like real estate and success motivation and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, he came from there and he started, he went from broke to rich and he started from nothing. And uh, yeah, he made a name for himself too uh, from that same part where you're from. So yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So um, yeah, so how did you, uh, you know, how did you, what made you start? Uh, I've been looking for, for a long time of different things to, to try to help me and my wife make money on the side. And I also have a painting business on the side. I do exterior and interior home painting. I grew up doing that. So I kind of took that over again on the side and she's a hairdresser. So I'm trying to just think of something we can do where you, know, you don't take a whole lot of effort. I mean, a good bit of effort, but not a lot of hard effort or labor intensive wise. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's really the end to make that extra money on the side to help 
anything, you know, pay stuff off, just the basic, you know, principles. Uh, but yeah, and then when I saw what it can do, and, and watching everybody's videos on YouTube, I said, "There's got to be, there's got to be a way to do this." And then when I found your course, started doing it, I just stayed motivated because you got to be motivated. If you're not motivated enough, I don't think you can, you could do this. You know, with uh, the money some of these gurus tell you you can just start with, uh, with the product I chose. I wouldn't have been able just to do it with a thousand dollars. It cost more for me to do mine. So, but it was a gamble. I took the risk, and it's working out. So, I actually, I just sent an order in the day to restock. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. I started with a thousand units, and uh, I got. I think I got a little less than. I got about a hundred and twenty left of oh, wow. stock. So you went like all in, you went a thousand units and, yeah. and basically you pretty much sold out almost all of them. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. That's great. And that's uh, like a big, uh, that's yeah. a big gamble you took. Yeah, <laughs> well, I said the heck with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I rather, a lot, a lot of times I rather, I do go all in on stuff right away. I, sometimes I probably shouldn't, but I mean, I might as well do it now. It, it might pay out later, you know, so and it actually it did. So, okay, so that's awesome. So you're about to reorder. So were you like, cause, cause honestly, I think this, this happens to everybody. Were you kind of like, uh, you know, were you afraid that you weren't gonna be able to make this work because maybe you didn't have a lot of experience with, um, you know, starting an online business or were you kind of, after watching all the videos, were you kind of like, you know, seeing them and were you like, hey, like, is this really too good to be true? Like, did you have these kinds of thoughts and stuff? And how, like, how did you overcome that? Uh, looking at, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of you specifically, you know, just some of these gurus showing off stuff and I'm like, man, I'm real skeptical about stuff like that. I'm like, man, I don't, there's got to be something else they're doing besides just this. And now they, some of them probably are, which is good, you know, but, uh, no, I said the heck with it. I kept telling myself every day, even before I got into this, just doing your course, I kept telling myself, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'll uh, keep Getting that mindset, like kind of like how you teach, you keep telling yourself, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do good, you're gonna do it, and that's that's what I would do every day while I'm at work. It actually kept me motivated to work harder at work as well, because I know I needed to save that money to be able to do this, you know. Yeah. So. And uh, honestly, man, you seem like a super humble guy. And like when I started, you said you have a painting business, and when I started as well, I was kind of in a similar like position. I had a window cleaning business. But I mean, obviously like I'm younger, but at the time it was kind of a bit like I could have been self-employed and I could have made, it was a way for me to make my own money. But even then I would like actually spend, you know, put more effort into cleaning people's windows because I would be like, okay, hey, I need to make money, you know, from this because it's not long term, it's temporary so that I can put it into my Amazon business. Yeah. And that's basically what I'm doing with the side painting business right now. I work every afternoon. I, my job is, uh, I work a nine to five job and I, in the afternoons I paint or I paint on the weekends and I got two little boys. So it, it's starting to get tiring working every, every day in the afternoons and the weekends, not be able to do stuff. But like I just finished painting the house. I use that money to invest into Amazon and that's what I just did. So it's helping me to where I can use that money to invest instead of my own, my own savings or my own money, you know? Yeah. So I know some people probably don't have a side job like that that they can do to help invest. A lot of them have to actually save every penny and it probably takes them a long time. It took me a few months to save that money till April from January to be able to, you know, to do this. So Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome, man. I'm super happy for you. And, um, so did you, uh, did you set yourself any goals? Like, did you set yourself any particular goals before you became successful at Amazon with obviously the success that you've had now? So did you kind of set yourself any goals and what are your goals now? And like, like looking forward to the future? Yeah. So, uh, with this product in particular, I set up a, a few goals. One of them was, uh, I wanted to make at least 5k a month, uh, not necessarily profit, but I wanted to be able to have enough to where I can restock. And uh, I mean, I'll surpass that goal. So I had, uh, for the next, this month, July, 
my goal is 10,000, 10K. Uh, basically, my goals in general is, is uh, with this business is to allow me and my family to to enjoy going on vacations, stuff that we can't really know, we don't normally get to do. So that's my biggest, my biggest goal is for us to go on a nice vacation. What's like a so, nice, vac- like where do you want to go? Like somewhere in the States or somewhere far? Or? Uh, right now, I mean, as a kid, we used to go to Destin, Florida every year. So that's a big, that's a place to my heart I like to go to every summer. We, we haven't been able to go the past couple of years, but that's a place, uh, it's just the beach, beautiful water. So I'm a tropical person, so I like anything tropical. Yeah, I've actually, I've been there. I've, I've been to Florida a lot of times, not Destin, but I've been to um, like Panama City, Panama City Beach yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's awesome, man. So when you set your first goal of $5,000 a month with this product, um, did you give yourself like a time limit? So were you writing your goals down or did you kind of just set it and you kind of like, you know, set it and forget it and leave it or what would you do? I kind of just said it and forget it. I have a, I made me a whiteboard in my man cave. So I got, I got little notes I write every now and then. So, and I keep track of when I, all my, uh, my inventory, the day that I, I ordered and it came in just so I can have an idea of how long it takes. Cause the first, my first product, well, this product didn't, it, uh, it took a little while for it to come in more than what they told me days. So, yeah. And that does happen. I mean, there are obviously obstacles. I had a ton of obstacles when I was first starting out. And, you know, I have to admit that um, a lot of, you know, Amazon gurus and sometimes it's even hard to not do this because, you know, you're trying to you're trying to help people start an online business. Right. But the thing is, is that yeah. people, you know, as soon as they see one difficulty, what what is psychology? Right. What's, what, what is, you know, most people's psychology? How do they how do they act? Right. As soon as they see one difficulty, they give up. Right. So that's the thing. And and like, you know, I have to try to because my mission is to help people, you know, like yourself start an online business to realize that you can actually do this as well. And sometimes it's even hard because it's like there will be obstacles and there will be things you have to overcome. And, you know, essentially it's just a filter and, you know, it filters out people that basically, you know, aren't strong in mind and don't have the willpower to continue and and persist. You know, you really don't have to put in that much more effort than, you know, the average person to succeed because most people just give up so quickly and most people are so weak. So obviously you've seen that. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm super happy. I'm super proud that the course worked for you. And so where do you, where do you see yourself at the end of this year? Shoot. I hope at the end of this year, uh, I'm shooting for a second product. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in the same brand I'm in because it's, it's, there's not a whole lot of, uh, the brand's kind of specific, but I'm hoping for a second product going in maybe ne- after next month and then at, towards the end of the year, I'm hoping we would have enough money saved to buy us a house. So that's my big goal for this year. I mean, it's, a, it's one of them, it's a big goal, but uh, we just found out me and my wife's pregnant again, so we need a, a bigger home. So oh, wow, congrats. Thank you. So yeah. how, how much is like a house down there, like in, uh, in your area? Uh, in the town where I'm at, anywhere from 250 to 300,000. Okay. Gotcha. For a night, you know, good updated home. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. So awesome. So that's your, that's your goal. So, um, are you looking into just focusing all in on Amazon and then releasing more and more products by the end of this year? Or are you also looking into other income streams as well? Or how are you like, you know, what are you focused on? Yeah, I'm was, was it's hard for me cause I got Amazon, the side painting and I got my real job. I'm hoping I can get rid of the re- quit my real job. Uh, what's your real job? Uh, I, I do instrumentation and electrical in a gas plant. Okay. Yep. Basically electrician in a plant, which is a really good job, but uh, I'm not too, I don't like the, I've been in the plants for six years now, I'm kind of, yeah. I'm not, I don't like that anymore. So maybe do my painting, keep that going because I get a lot of uh, customers coming back with that and then the Amazon too. So, and then I would not, you know, that would be perfect. Yeah, you can even hire people for the painting once you have Amazon going as well. You can hire people for the painting 
and then you can get yeah. people to you can get sales people and stuff because you know you can scale and then you can have both that way you're not only yeah. relying on one of them which is something that i would actually do uh, i don't i don't know if you ever heard of eric barstow uh sounds maybe familiar who's that he's a he created painting business pro which is another comp it's another course i took before you last year on how to scale your painting business and he's been really successful with that so that's another uh another uh i guess you could say mentor i use for scaling businesses and stuff like that so awesome so clearly online courses have worked well for you so you yes. don't you don't regret taking online courses no no okay i, I regret going to uh, a technical school for three years when I could have been doing something like this if I was younger, you know, if I was younger, I, I wish I'd have found this. I'm 30 now. I'm still, I guess, kind of young with, yeah, uh, <laughs> you're not that old. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I wish I would have uh, found this out, say when I was 25, you know, yeah. Give me a head start. Honestly, but, I want to like, I'm 22. So, I mean, in, this, in other people's eyes, I'm very young, but the thing is, is that I, I always think to myself that if I was born 10 years earlier, you know, if I was born eight years earlier, like, like you were, um, <clears throat> if I was born earlier, you know, things like, you know, the things that the opportunities that are available today wouldn't be available back then. And over time, it just got easier to start an online business. And especially now it's like a no brainer, you know, to just go yeah. learn something that is already working for people and then, you know, do it yourself and then have the confidence to say that, Hey, I can also succeed at this. And, you know, literally, if you look at the people already, you know, successful on things like Amazon, they're not special, right? You know, me and you are not special and none of the other people are special. We all just kind of, you know, realize we weren't happy with our regular life. We weren't happy with a traditional kind of thing where you can't even go on a vacation for years because, you know, you're, you know, you have to obviously take care of your kids and stuff like that and you got bills to pay. So, you know, in today's day and age, Sometimes, you know, I'm very grateful that I'm 22 now because if I wasn't, if I was 22, like 10 years ago, I would probably, you know, I'd probably go continue going to college and then, you know, because you just couldn't start an online business. I mean, you could back then, but it wasn't like, it wasn't, I would say, as accessible or as easy as it is now, right? I, I don't think you can say that, uh, you know, you wish you had found it at 25 or 24 because it wasn't as accessible back then. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm happy that you found it now because right now is the best time. And it, it must have been stressful for the people that sell on Amazon back in the day without having some kind of YouTube to show them videos on how to do things as well, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, back, back in the day, and I'm, obviously I wasn't selling back in the day, but from the stories and from the things that I've seen, people had to go on Amazon and they were literally gambling. Like they had to guess what products were good based on the best seller's rank. So they had to see based just based on the rank, you know, and like, okay, if the rank is, you know, high or low, you know what I mean? Like if it's good, then it's probably selling, but also you have no idea how much the product is making. You have no idea how much to order. So that's basically how it was back then. And also it was less competitive, but it was just way riskier. So, you know, Jungle Scout didn't exist. None of these things existed. There were no courses. You kind of had to figure it out yourself. So, you know, if you look at, if you look at it that way, then obviously, you know, I'm glad that you know you're doing this now. And um, another thing is that this obviously now that you've proven to yourself, you can make money online. And not only can you make money online, you can make money with your painting business. You can also expand into other things. And you have the confidence to go to scale, you know, to six figures, seven figures, you know, and obviously go big. Yeah. So, yeah. So awesome. So do you have anything, you know, any advice or any kind of um, anything you want to say to anybody considering starting an online business, specifically Amazon? You know, anything you want to say? Yeah, I mean, if if you have the heart and the motivation, just do it. That's what I did. You know, my wife kind of would roll her eyes at me a few times, and but I, I said, wait, let's. Um, I kept time to tell her, just hang on, we'll see how I do, we'll see how it goes. And every day I updated, and she she's surprised just how I was. You know, just just do it, man. Just find your course or a mentor you like, follow their their course, and just do it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I think I agree with that last point. Find someone you like because, you know, there are many courses available and I think that you have to click with the person and with the mentor, you know, and then if you click with that person, like if people, you know, click with me, then obviously you'll take my course. But if you click with someone else, then just take their course because everybody is different. Right. And I think that there are certain personalities that are suited, you know, for certain people or for other people. So 
Anyway, um, yeah, and so you, um, you obviously, I think you took advantage of my mentorship, right? So you sent me, did you send me the product before doing it? Uh, I, I think I sent you a message about the uh, reviews it had, but I don't know if, if, if I had you actually look over it because I had to compete. The one, one of my competitors had over 500 reviews, so I had to compete with, with that one. Did you find it hard to uh, make money, like with that competitor? What's that? Did you find it hard to compete against that competitor, like now looking back? No, no, not at all. And I started, uh, when I did Bower Launch, I think I might have had two reviews. <laughs> you, did two reviews. <laughs> <laughs> you did Viral Launch with two reviews. You did Viral Launch with two reviews. I was anxious. I, was, I might have jumped ahead too much, but man, Bower Launch skyrocketed that that thing i think that's what really helped me yeah sell selling like 50 a day with bar launch and then after that maybe three days selling maybe anywhere from eight to ten units and then three days after that it went up to 20 a day and now it's yesterday i sold 54 was one of my highest 54 units yesterday. units 54 units yeah that's awesome that's awesome man congrats yeah so. no it's a little down today but it has its you know ups and downs certain days of the week. So yeah, for sure. Well, well now it's July fourth coming up too, so people are buying other things, right? Yeah, um, and I, I believe my product is seasonal, so that's something. That's why I need to get another product going. And I chose this product in specific from where I live, the area, the south. So it works good for the for this area. That's another reason why I decided to go with it. But uh. I mean, if I keep talking like that, I end up telling you what it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And Blair was super awesome having you for this interview. Thank you very much for agreeing to the interview. You know, I love interviewing successful students because like I said, it shows you and it shows everybody watching on my channel that, you know, anybody can do it and it's possible with enough belief in yourself, with the correct mentor, with the correct course. And you know, with the correct, you know, with the right drive and effort and persistence. So um, thank you. And so if you guys are interested in the Amazon Freedom Course and my mentorship, the link is down below. And I'm not sure if you know Blair, but I am releasing the update to the Amazon Freedom Course on Wednesday, so just in a couple of days. So by the time you watch this video, it'll probably be up. So uh, I'm completely updating the Amazon Freedom Course because obviously Amazon has changed in the past couple of months, and everybody gets you know continuous updates with my course because I want my students to have the maximum chances of success. So Amazon Freedom 3.0 will uh, come out probably Wednesday. Uh, so in two days. So by the time you guys watch this, it will already be up and you guys will get access as soon as you join. So um, awesome. Thank you, Blair, once again. And for the rest Thank of you guys, you. subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, links are down below. And yeah, see ya.